Welcome back, back for another Tip Tuesday. But this series is a little mini series inside of Tip Tuesday, it's called What They Don't Tell You. So I'm gonna tell you the things they don't tell you about film, from the DPs, the directors, the actors. This is gonna be a really cool series. I'm gonna let you guys know what they don't tell you about acting. I break So number one, what they don't tell you is that it's hard as hell, all right? It's not that easy. Um, it's a fun hobby and stuff like that, but it's very, very difficult um, depending on the film. So you have to do your research. Like I said, on a production company, I said that in another tip too, that you have to do your research on what you're gonna work on and the production company that you're gonna work with. But what they don't tell you about acting is that you have to memorize. So if you're not a good person with memorization, there's different methods to memorizing, um, getting you know the lines down in your head. But what they don't tell you is that um, Every director is different. So let's go back to the memorization. So some directors, they'll let you improv. I used to work like that back in the day. I never had scripts. I used to just stand on set and say, oh, you say this, you say this, or you know, tell people the gist of a horn. And then later on, I found out you can't do that. You have to go to scripts. And I hated writing and stuff, but that's a long story. But anyway, I got into that. Some directors let you improv, some directors won't. What they don't tell you is that you're going to have to memorize your lines for the most part when it comes down to the big productions. You will have to memorize your lines. Guys, so I'm telling you, get used to memorization, find your method, you have to memorize your lines, especially if you really, really want those big roles. If you really want those big roles, you're gonna have to memorize your lines. That's another thing they don't tell you about acting. Um, you have to know your lines inside and out. Number three, you're gonna have to, if you slip or another actor slips, and you forget a line or, or another actor forgets a line, you have to be able, what makes a good actor is being able to rebound and bounce and just improv off the top of your head to cover up the gaps or the mistakes you made. These are all the things they don't tell you that's gonna make you an amazing actor. You have to be able to rebound, so work on your rebounding skills where that if you slip and forget a line, you have to be able to catch yourself and keep it going. Do not call cut. One thing that I always hate that my actors do is not my actors anymore, I don't work with these actors anymore, but these are more on the amateur level when you're coming up. A lot of amateur actors will call cut themselves. Like, oh, I messed up, I'm sorry, can we do that again? That does not fly on sets. They don't tell you that. You cannot stop, guys. You have to rebound, and that's what makes an amazing actor. They don't tell you that. Another thing they don't tell you is you're gonna have a lot of different personalities that you're gonna be working with when acting, a lot. Some people you're gonna like, some people you're gonna dislike. For example, Will Smith and Aunt Viv, I don't know her real name, but Will Smith and Aunt Viv from Fresh Prince hated each other from what I've heard. They disliked each other, now they made up, they're cool. But you have to be able to get along with people that you may not like. You may form a, you know, a bad relationship with somebody on set, they may do something rude or whatever, you know, have an ego, but you're gonna have to try your best to get it done because the, the goal is to accomplish the film. They don't tell you that. Get ready to have different, different personalities that you're gonna come into contact with and you may not like them. Um, and lastly, for acting, I would say what they don't tell, well, no, there's more. Another thing they don't tell you is that all the scenes that you do may not make it to the editing room and out of the editing room, buddy. It makes it to the editing room, but it may not make it out. So if you had an incredible scene and say, I can't wait to see this movie, man, I killed this scene with this lady or this guy. When you go to the screening, do not be surprised if that scene is not in there and they chose your worst scene. I am telling you, that's another thing they don't tell you. Not every scene you do in a movie is going to make it to the big screen. That's another thing they do not tell you about acting. Number, I don't know what number I'm up to, but the next one, we're gonna say they don't tell you. Um, sometimes you're gonna have to change physically. You have to either lose weight, gain weight. I'll give you an example. Um, 50 Cent for one of his movies, I forgot, he lost a lot of weight and he was like a cancer patient. Um, that's one thing they don't tell you, that sometimes when you get these productions, it's hidden in a contract or they just won't say it. Once you get on, you sign on, they'll tell you, hey, you have to change your weight for this film or you have to look this way or do you mind shaving your hair? So make sure you ask, is there any physical changes that I'm gonna have to make prior to getting this role? Because once you sign, now you have legalities and contracts involved and you can't just walk out. So you wanna make sure before signing, hey, I love the role, but is there anything required of me physically that I have to change? Another thing they don't tell you, especially for the ladies out there, a lot of sex out there, ladies, a lot of sex out there, a lot of nudity out there, right? Sex sells, we know that, but sometimes, and most of the time, um, in films, you'll see you know scenes that require some type of nudity. A lot of filmmakers, directors, and just producers won't tell you that because they're afraid of scaring you off. So they get you with the contract you sign, and then you'll see scenes where you have to kiss another man or do something along those lines. So that's why you always request to read the script after signing the contract or whatever, NDA, whatever the case may be, but you wanna read the script before really coming on board fully or at least ask them, is there any nudity involved? What is required of me? So that's another thing they don't tell you for the actors out there. Another thing they don't tell you, they don't fully break down the background of your character. 
the back, your, your, your character can be a murderer, he can be a pedophile, it can be something very extreme. You really want to break it down on what is this character's background because when you get on set, you know, the, the, your image can be tarnished based upon the role that you take. Guys, listen to what I'm saying. Based upon the role you accept in the acting world, your image can be tarnished. So you don't just accept anything. Um, that's why you need to have a full breakdown with the director and producer. Now, those are the things they don't tell you about acting. If any of you think I left something out, please leave the comments below because I definitely want to follow up on it. Maybe a part two with an actor next to me. We may do that, but I'd love to follow up on it. But anyway, thank you for watching this Tip Tuesday and I will catch you next week on what they don't tell you. Well, I don't know what I'm releasing next week, but I definitely am doing an episode on what they don't tell you about directing. So all my directors tune in, all my filmmakers are inspiring directors, and then we'll do what they don't tell you about writing and what they don't tell you about DPing, and we'll just keep going and things of that nature. But this is the What They Don't Tell You series for Tip Tuesday. We just did acting. Leave your comments below if there's anything else. I'm trying to see if I missed anything. What they don't tell you, you can be rejected. Um, so be prepared for that. You may put in for audition, you pay for 50 auditions and they will decline you. But what they also don't tell you, and Devin just reminded me, you may be rejected, but the same people that reject you may call you back and say things have changed while you're still open for the role. So it goes both ways. I've done it before myself, rejected somebody and then circle back, hey, you know what, are you still open for it? They'll say yes. Another thing they don't tell you is that your travel costs and fees. If you're an actor, put it this way, you're gonna have to invest in yourself if you want people to eventually invest in you. If you're not willing to spend and fly and do no budget films and do low budget films and do pay for your cost, I mean your travel costs, your lodging, this may not be your field because if you're starting off the ground with anything, you're gonna have to spend money. So those are the things that they don't tell you, I would say. And uh, anything else, D? I think we're done. Pretty much it. What they don't tell you series, acting. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I hope I helped you out. High risk on the way, our film. I'll catch you later. Peace. Tip Tuesday.